Hey guys, welcome back. Another day, another review. Today we've got a shoe review good for you guys. This is from keepskicks.ru. All their socials, all their links will be below. Um, I'll link all their information for you guys so you guys can go check out their shoes for yourself. So yeah, so today we've got the Off-White Jordan 4. Um, these are the retro sales. Uh, these are really nice pair of sneakers. Thank you so much, Keep, Keep Shoe, for sending them over. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So obviously we've got the first of all, the box of the shoe. Now the box is obviously the with the um, little. This is how you know it's an off-white shoe because it has this little sort of see-through bubble in it, so you can see like straight through the box, which is pretty cool. It's got the nice Jordan Fly logo. Um, it is a bit dirty, um, but I can clean that easily. You can just clean it off. It's not. It's nothing too too major. And I think the box is supposed to be a bit like sort of like this darker dirty color it shouldn't be like it shouldn't be completely dirty but it won't come as dirty um as you guys are probably thinking but yeah really really nice box the box looks good obviously the bubbles everywhere you can see them this is how you know it's an off-white shoe um you got the little thing right here and then you've got the label um this is a uk nine point no a uk 8.5 in men's size but in women's size it's a um i think it's a uk 11 or us 11 or and a us men's 9.5 so if you're confused about why where the 11's from it's just because it's a women's release sneaker so as you can see right here it says women's air jordan 4 um these are women's air release jordans they were i think primarily released for women's sizes and so yeah that's why the 11's there in case you guys are confused but yeah if you are on the website you can just pick it true to your size and it'll just and then um, I think Keep Shoe will just automatically change it to the women's size for you guys. So that's a cool feature. So let's get straight into it. Let's open the box right here. Kind of difficult to do with one hand. Oh. There we go. Got a nice red interior of the off-white box right there. And then here you go. The Air Jordan off-white paper cool feels really nice like not not that plasticky cheap material it feels really really nice really sort of like a soft and plastic it's really nice yeah and guys i have once like, held a pair of real air jordan 4 off white so i will be able to critique these perfectly for you guys so yeah so you've got the lighter color laces you've got the black laces and you've got the Sort of like the minty teal laces right here for you guys as well so those all come included the paper and then we've got straight into it we've got the shoe itself now these shoes our first glance they look good i'll be honest these shoes upon first glance look good obviously we're going to critique it more deeply in, a, in about a second but from first glance from this angle here i think these shoes look really good to the originals um they, uh, uh, let's get straight into it because yeah these, these do look really nice um okay so here we go we've got the first of all the netting let's look at that first you know about all jordans they should have their netting slanting downwards and um, this does it perfectly right here really nice and let's look at the stitching the stitching all around is clean and consistent here we go all around the shoe especially the back part the back part is really hard to replicate but like this part needs to be stitched perfectly there is a little bit of a flaw right here but that's not noticeable but yeah clean stitching all around the back of the shoe right here it's got the little it's supposed to be like sort of clear but not too clear um on the real pair i think it, this is a bit brighter on the real pair but like it should, it's supposed to be clear but not too clear so if your shoes are like super clear on this back tab here, then you've got a little issue. But if it's like this darker, like a sort of like this dark, but not too dark color, then it's sort of really perfect. Let's look at the bottom of the shoe. We've got the Nike in the, that teal cyan color right there. Really nice, really fresh. Looks really clean. And then you've got the front tab as well. Let's put the front tab up here. Now, the stitching on the front tab, I've heard a lot of people complain about these in the past. Um, but I think Keep Shoe have done it really well. 
really nice consistent consistent stitching sorry um got the nike i mean sorry the jordan logo right there it's good to me and then you've got laces um this as well you can check this out this is more like a, a more musty like a more musty um peachy color it shouldn't be the same color as this because that would be very bad and then you've got the little off-white text behind this net in here uh, right there really really nice and yeah you got the bubble and then you got the little, the little air jordan the air logo right here which is a big flaw for most shoes who try to replicate it the fonting on the air should be perfect this r should um is the biggest flaw that most people have um the r should have a certain font it should be a certain size as well so yeah right there but it looks good to me i'm not really seeing any big issues like i've i've mentioned about the stitching on here uh and then what else did i say i think i think i'm not too sure about this back tab i think it might be a a bit dark of a color but other than that these shoes are really perfect guys i'll be so real really really nice we got the other pair here as well it's got a nice off-white tag right there and it should have some writing off-white corporation with nike 2020 zip tie right there yeah but overall guys i'll be honest keep shoe I want to thank them so much for sending these over. These shoes do look like really, really nice. Really nice quality of the shoes. Overall, these are really like a really nice cop, guys. Link all their socials will be linked below. You can get these shoes for yourself. Um, it'll be on their website available to you guys. The shipping was about two weeks, I think. It was really, like, I don't even think it was two weeks. I think it was less than two weeks. Um, it was really nice. Appreciate them keep shoes thank you so much for letting me review your shoes and yeah 